I'll give you a physics exam number five before Thanksgiving. It's going to be on Wednesday, November 23rd. In this tutorial, I'll go over eight problems and I'll randomly choose four problems for exam number five. Find if the applied force is, let's say, five newton, ten newton, uh, 39.2 newton, and 40 newton. You're gonna have to find a uh, force of normal force. We're gonna have to find force of friction. Okay, all right, good. So first thing first, you're gonna have to find the weight. So what would be the weight of the box? We're gonna use acceleration due to gravity then for that weight. So acceleration due to gravity G would be 90, 90 H in Newton. Fn will be also 98 Newton. Okay, so far so good. Now let's put mu s is 0.4 and mu k is 0.3. Okay, so let's see maximum possible friction. Maximum maximum possible friction would be F S max. What? Mu s fn. So mu s is I don't know. Mu s is 0.4, and fn is I don't know. 98. So that is 39.2. All right. Now kinetic friction. Mu k fn, and that will be 0.3. Normal force is 98 newton. There is no upward force acting on this box. So normal force is 98 newton. 98 newton. 98 newton. 98 newton. Okay, force of friction. Okay, when the applied force is 5 newton, force of friction is 5 newton. When the applied force is 10 newton, okay. Force of friction is 10 in Newton, okay? Because 10 is less than, 10 is less than 39.2. When applied force is 39.2, then force of friction is 39.2, okay? When the applied force is 40 Newton, 40 is more than 39.2, so the kinetic friction takes over. So the friction is 29.4. Okay, net force is zero. Okay, why the net force is zero? Because applied force minus force of friction is zero. Applied force minus force of friction is zero. Applied force minus. All right, okay. So acceleration will be zero, acceleration will be zero, acceleration will be 1.06 meter per second squared. Okay, good. Second squared, all right. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, and that is the friction graph. So the friction graph will be applied force, force of friction. I'm going to have the static friction. I'm going to have the I'm going to have the kinetic friction. All right. So kinetic friction is just one value. So F K. Kinetic friction is just one value and that is 29.4. Static friction is, this is the static friction. Static friction is less than or equal to 39.2. And this is the maximum static friction and that would be Fs max and that is This was the problem number one. Now we're gonna do problem number two. Cardi baby angle, mu k is, mu s is 0.4 and mu k is 0.3. All right, so we're gonna try to find following things. All right, apply force, F normal, F, F, F net and then the X 
that's the direction. So let's find the weight first. The weight would be again Fg is 98 Newton. The normal force would be tricky over here. There would be um, upward force. So to find the normal force, we have to be really careful. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna write uh, both component of the pulling force. So this is for 40, so the x is 34.6, y is uh, 20, okay. fn, this would be 0.3 times uh, 78, 0.4, so this is 23.4, so the net force should be, so let's see net force, net force would be f net. Acceleration would be F net over mass. So F net would be another point two mass is ten. One two meter per second square. And this is another point two. Now let's do with the thirty newton. So with the thirty newton, we're gonna do it here. We have lots of space over here. So uh, so let's just start from here. Uh, uh, I have FP, so FP would be uh, FPX, FPY, and that would be 30 cosine 30 degree, 30 sine 30 degree, 30 sine 30 degree is 50. Alright, so now the next thing we have to find is force of friction. Force of friction is mu K FN, so FN would be. So let's find the Fn. Fn would be Fg minus Fy. So Fg is 98 minus 15. Alright, so this is 83. So 0.3 times 83, 4.9. Now we have to find F net. So F net is Fx minus Ff. Fx is 5.9 minus 24.9 which is 1 all right so now acceleration is f over m so 1 over all right so we're gonna fill it out now the 25 25 let's, let's use a different color uh, 25.9 and then 15 and then 83 and then FF is 24.9, F net is 1, and this is 1. Alright, so let's say, let's consider a pulley, let's consider two mass, let's say this is 100 kilogram, and this is 200 kilogram. We want to find the acceleration. Okay, so let's say this is mass 1 and let's say this is mass 2, alright, so we're going to use M1 and M2, so we're going to put this one over here, what forces are acting on this one, so this is M1G and this is FT, and I put this one over here, this is M2G and this is FT. Let's make no mistake that this is heavier than this one, so this one is negative acceleration, this one is positive acceleration. Now we're gonna write Newton's second law f equal to m1a, but make no mistake, this is negative f equal to m2a, and make no mistake that this is positive. So, what are the f fg minus m2g? So Fg is equal to M2G plus M2A. Alright, so what 
is this one? F, what are the F? F G minus M1 G is equal to minus M1 A. And then I replace this F G by this. So M2 G plus M2 A minus M1 G is equal to minus M1 A. So you're gonna isolate the acceleration. That's our goal. We're gonna isolate the acceleration, that's our goal. So how can I do that? So M2A plus M1A is equal to, uh, we're gonna send the M1G to the other side, minus M2G. Acceleration is M1 plus M2. Um, M1 plus M2 and G M1 minus M2. All right, so what is G? G is 10. Now we're gonna do the inside the individual 100 kilogram. There are four scenarios. 100 kilogram, 100 kilogram, and then 100 kilogram. There are four scenarios. And scenario, uh, scenario one, acceleration is zero. Scenario two, acceleration is positive two. Scenario 3, acceleration is negative 2. Scenario 4, acceleration is negative 10. Okay, so we want to find a few things. We want to find the weight. So the weight would be the this one, this one, this one, and this one. The weight would be the same. What would be the 1000 Newton? 1000 Newton. that the scale when you stand up in an elevator is scale with the normal force so we have to find the normal force so what is the normal force i'm going to put the arrow later the normal force would be equal in magnitude opposite in direction so normal force is 1000 newton why is that let's do the free body diagram so the free body diagram is right here so you have a normal force and you have fg so F equal M A. So let's do F M A. So F M minus F G is equal to M A. So F M is equal to M G plus M A. So F M is equal to M G plus A. Acceleration is zero. Why is that? Because this one. mg so m is um, 100 and g is 10 so therefore the normal force is 1000 newton okay good normal force is over here let's find the the free body diagram so this is fm this is fg all right so how can i do that f equal to ma so f mg because this is mg is equal to ma so fn is equal to mg plus ma so fn is equal to mg plus a okay so this one is just uh, fn is equal to mg plus a this one is fn is equal to mg minus this is g plus a and this is g minus a all right so then what is it? F is equal to M is 100, G is 10 plus 2, so F M is 1200. So the F M is bigger than MG, so F M is 100. So this one F M is M is 100, G is uh, 10 minus 2, so F M is 800. So this one F M is smaller, so F M is this one, F M is M G plus A, so M is 100, G is um, uh, negative 10, uh, G is uh, 
g is uh, g is negative uh, g is uh, g so g is 10 next relation is negative 10 so 100 times 0 so f n is 0 newton so there is no f n okay few other things you're gonna find from here okay so f n is 0 all right so apparent weight loss apparent weight gain uh, weightless uh, same so this would be same this would be apparent weight to gain this would be apparent weight loss this would be weightless all right the another aspect This one is same. This one is heavier. This one is lighter. That's what you experience. And this one is with us. All right, now we're gonna do um, two boxes. One is 12 kilogram. One is 10 kilogram attached by a rope and someone pull it at by 14 newton, no friction. No friction, I want to find the acceleration and then how can you find it? Again, call it mass 1, call it mass 2, mass 1, mass 2. So this one, what the force acting on it, Ft. And this one, what are the force acting on? F P and then F F F T. Okay, so Newton's second law, F equal to M one A. So F T is equal to M one A. And Newton's second law, F equal to M two A. So F P minus F T is equal to M two A. All right, so F T is equal to M one A. Replace that by this. So. Mp minus m1a is equal to m2a. Okay, so we're gonna isolate a. So Mp is equal to m1a plus m2a. Okay, so Fp is equal to m acceleration m1 plus m2. Okay, so what do you get? Acceleration is Fp m1 plus m2. Acceleration is 40. Another problem I'm going to give you tomorrow is probably not sure. Two mass connected by a pulley and a rope. This is five kilogram. This is two kilogram. Mu k is equal to find the acceleration. So again, call this one mass one, mass two, mass two, mass one, mass two. How many forces acting on it? F G F G F N F F forty nine uh, F N is forty nine mu K F N so forty nine times point two and um, that's it. So this one, how many forces acting on it? F G and F G. Alright, so now we're gonna do Newton's second law. F equal to M A. Let's call M one A. And let's be careful. This is negative, so this is minus A. Minus A. So F G minus M one G is minus M one A. Okay. Alright, so this is F equal to M two. So Ft minus Ff M to A. Okay, so let's isolate this Ft. Ft will be M to A plus Ff. So replace this Ft over here. So M to A plus Ff minus M1G is equal to M1A. So now what are you going to get? M to A plus m1a is equal to minus m1 plus m2a 
plus M1G minus FF. So acceleration is M1 plus M2 is equal to M1G minus FF. Alright, so what you get acceleration is uh, M1 plus M2 M1G minus FF. So acceleration is M1G is how much? M1G is 2 times so 19.6 minus FF is 9.8. So acceleration is 9.8 divided by 7. Now let's consider a mass All right, on an incline and this is 30 degree and let's say UK is equal to find an acceleration. Okay. So what are the gravitational components? There are two of them. This is FG perpendicular, this is Fn, this is F. FG parallel and this is this is FF okay so now FG has FG parallel FG perpendicular FG perpendicular is Fn FG parallel is Mg sin 30 Mg cosine 30 so we're gonna do F equal to MA so F net, all the forces acting on the direction and the acceleration would be F G parallel minus F F is equal to M A. So F G parallel is M G sine 30 minus F F is uh, mu K F N. So 9, 3, 